Time for my July book recap. This month I read four books and I'm up to 32. So I'm way ahead of schedule for my goal, which is 52 for the whole year. The first book was November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I liked it. A compelling story. Kind of interesting, actually. Um, four out of five stars. The next book was Chutzpah, Wisdom and Wine by Jody Samuels. Full disclosure, Jody is a colleague of mine and I know her personally. I really like this book. I thought it was a good story. Um, it's interesting to hear her fight as a advocate for a child with special needs uh, and how it fits into the Jewish community. So four out of five. The next one was Those Who Are Loved by Victoria Hislop. Okay, this book was a tiny bit long for my taste, but she is one of my favorite writers and I think this might be my one of my all-time favorite books. I love it. Five out of five. The story is so great. You know, I love to read about places that I might not ever get to go. The story is based in Greece, and it's a really, really beautiful story about Greek history, and it's just really, really beautiful story just in general, and I like it. You should read this book. And finally, Truly Madly Guilty by Lane Moriarty. I have to say this book was entirely too long, but the story was great. It was excellent. Again, a book about a place that I probably will never get to visit, Australia. So it's interesting to see things in that light from a different perspective. But I just, I thought the story was really interesting and takes you through very complex relationships. There is a feature about a woman who is a hoarder in this book. And I think that that is a very, very interesting aspect of the story too. Uh, but Definitely, this is a read. I give this one five out of five, but disclaimer, I really want to give it four out of five because it is a little bit too long for me. My feeling is if you can't say what you need to say in 350 pages, yeah. That was my book recap for July. What did you read in July? Leave me a comment and let me know and give me some suggestions on what I should pick up next.